thank you. I don't usually let my horse run away. Then why did you this time? Uh, well, what do you mean? Do you think I did this on purpose? Of course I do. The question is why? Well, perhaps I wanted to meet you. Perhaps. Ed, no! Hey, why did you yell? We could use that reward money. I don't know why I did it. Except we don't want that kind of money. I know, sis, but we got to raise money to make the last payment to Mr. Burroughs. That property back east has been sold. We ought to receive the money on it any day now. Wasn't he romantic looking? Oh, the outlaw? Yes, that outlaw. I wonder who he is. Oh, quit mooning and come on up to the house. I've had an awful time trying to get supper started. We tried our best to get the Phantom, Mr. Burroughs, but he's lightning fast with a gun. We was lucky to get away with our lives. I'm not interested in that. I want him dead or alive. Understand? Yeah. That's the fourth payroll of mine that the Phantom's got. But that isn't what's worrying me, son. You don't mean the Parker killing, Dad? Yes. Something tells me that it's more than my money that the Phantom's after. I've got ideas about this phantom, and I could use the five thousand dollars. I'm going to ride over now, Arden's, and look into that rumor I heard about him striking gold. place here and it's going to stay that way. Now get out of here. For Carson? You Carson? Bill Carson, yeah. Looks like you struck it rich. 
looking for information or just curious? My mistake. Mort Burroughs. Hello, Mort. Hello. Ed. Hello, Molly. Hello. Hey, Mort, what do you think? I almost caught the phantom. Had him dead to rights. Molly here butted in and he got away. How about it, Molly? What happened? I couldn't let Ed shoot him. After all, he's a man. Not a bad looking one, either. Got a good look at him? Nobody ever has before. Would you know him again? Perhaps. I thought he was chasing her, but she says her horse was running away. You should have let Ed finish him. After all, $5,000 doesn't grow on every bush. You know, he's been doing most of his work against us. Dad's mighty anxious to catch him. I wonder why. Well, after all, Dad's got the biggest ranch in the territory. And then he's the richest man out here. Well, Mort, I'll look after your horse. You'll stay to supper, won't you? Thanks, I can. not You might give King a drink, though. Molly, this is a hard country unless you're well fixed. We haven't found it so. Sure you have. Ed's told me. Now listen, the day you say you'll marry me, Dad will give you a deed to your ranch as a sort of wedding present. Thanks, Mort, but we're raising the money in the East. It should be here any day now. Then we'll be able to pay your father. What's the matter, stranger? No luck? You'd need more than luck to win in a game like this. You'd have to be a magician. So what do you mean? You know what I mean. Now, don't try anything like that. What goes on here? I've just discovered I'm sitting in a crooked game. You're a liar! Now get out of here. I'll be waiting for you outside. about give me a run for my money. Sure. Sit down. If you can't pay, let me know. I'll fix it with Dad. Oh, but we can and will. We just got to now that I... Ed's so anxious to feel that it's really ours. All of it. I'm sorry you can't see it my way. See you in town tonight? Oh, yes, uh, as soon as I... Not tonight. You see, uh, we've got a lot of figuring to do. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. So long, Mort. You act like you're older than me instead of the other way around. And you act like a baby when Mort Burroughs is here. Why, you almost told him that there's gold on the ranch. Well, suppose he did know. What then? I don't want anyone to know until it's ours. <laughs> I guess you're right, sis. <laughs> Ed, you're hurting me. Let me go. There's something burning on the stove. <laughs> I think I better quit this game before I own your place. That's a pretty good idea. How would you like to go to work for me? <laughs> no, thanks. I like being my own boss. That's okay with me. You can run the games on percentage. Well, I'm not crazy about the idea, but I might take a shot at it. Fine. And it'll be a relief to my mind to have somebody around here that can handle themselves like you do. You can uh, cash those chips in my office. 
The Reno backed up the stranger and threw me out. You shouldn't have got caught. That's where you made your mistake. Yeah, but Mr. Burrs, I... You want to come back to work for me? Sure. Well, there's six hundred and fifty dollars you owe me. Where do you want these chips in the safe? Oh, I would if I had one. Uh, put them in that cabinet over there. That's where I keep my spare cash. Spare cash? Yeah, when I have any to spare. <laughs> Phantoms have been seen close by. I'm doubling the reward for him. Dead or alive. Good. I can use that reward. Hey, Reno. Who's that fellow out there talking to your dealer? Oh, Jim Burroughs. You know him? No, but I've heard about him. He's a mighty hard man to do business with. Controls just about everything and everybody around here. That is, everybody but me. Pretty tough going if you don't run with the Burroughs outfit. But it's worth a whole lot not to have to cater to him. Y boys just rode by. He said there's a registered letter at the post office for us. That must be the money from the east. Now we can pay off Mr. Burroughs and sink a shaft into that pay streak. Come on, sis. Let's go to town and celebrate. We'll celebrate right here after you get the money. You run ahead and I'll bake a big cake. Chocolate? Uh-huh. And don't stay in town, especially if Mort Burroughs is there. I can take care of myself. I wish I thought so. Staring at. That's what I'm wondering. My name's McGillicuddy. My friends call me Magpie. But don't get too previous. Hey, what do you do around here? I run the games. Oh, gambler, huh? Hmm. Well, I might as well lose my money here as anywhere. That's the spirit. You've got the right idea. Bet your money and sleep in the streets. A millionaire today and a trap tomorrow. Come right inside. Hello, Ed. Oh, hello, Mort. Say, are your dad in town? No, why? Well, I've got some money and I'd like to pay him. That is, if it won't break the bank to cash the draft. That's swell. There wasn't any hurry about paying Dad. Let's celebrate. Well, I can't. I, I promised Molly I'd come right home. Say, how long are you going to be tied to her apron strings? Oh, well, it's not that, Mark. On the ice. Yeah, but the news is going to be all over town. You want the boys to figure a four-flusher? You know, girls don't savvy a man's angle on these things. Now, we'll see what I got. Just 20. Come home, boys. Come home. I exactly hit in this game in on a level. But you know how I feel about it. Hey, you. What are you squawking about? Carson's the squarest dealer in this territory. That's what you think. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. Give me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about a drink? Ed's buying. Yes, sir. I've got plenty of money. Mm -hmm. My friend, do you want a drink? Sure, I'll take a drink. I'll drink for my friend. Who's that fellow with young Burroughs? Oh, Ed Arden. He's buying a spread from old man Burroughs. He's got the money to pay off and he's celebrating. 
the young fool. Say, you better look out for that old coot. He's the kind that shoots first and talks afterwards. You're wrong. He's already talked. Sure, we'll pay your old man. But there's no hurry. Hey, I'll buy the next drink. Bartender, hmm? another drink, please. Magpie, come on out. Am I doing all right? Well, you're doing all right, but don't get too conspicuous. Somebody will recognize you. Well, there's only one. It could just... Don't mention any names. And keep out of his sight. Well, when are we going to take him? Well, we'll take him pretty soon. I want to worry him a while first. I better get back inside. Now, you keep your eye peeled. Oh, Ed. 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 You've had about enough. Why don't you go home? He can't do no apron strings either. I'll show you. Just a minute, just a minute. Now, you don't want to fight anybody. Take it easy. Why fight? Too much fun in life. Let's give the game a whirl. This is your lucky night. All right, why not? Hey, give me some of those chips. I'll show you how to beat this game. When you start in the gamble, you want to have a pretty clear head, Arden. You better keep your money. What's the matter? Don't you want our money? Your money? Well, it's an open game, isn't it? Not exactly. First time I ever saw one of you fellas turn down cash. You usually don't care how you get it. Well, you've spoken your little piece now. Suppose you run along. I don't take that from any born gambler. He's out. He must have fainted. I certainly didn't hit him hard enough for that. Well, I hope you never hit me any harder. You better take care of that. I guess I am a fool. Molly was right. Molly? My sister. Hey, haven't I seen you somewhere before? I don't know. Have you? Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. And thanks. Rita! 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 Yes, sir? Go get my room ready. Yes, sir. Hey, you. Give me a hand here. Because a girl you can't count on very much. Why, it's young Arden, and he's hit bad. Here, Reno, give me a hand with him. Get him inside.
Well, his money's gone. So the motive must have been robbery. I'd like to get my hands on whoever did it. Phantom. Black Hood. It hit me. Phantom. Say, he's trying to say something about the Phantom. He's the guilty one we should have known. We'd better get him home. The doctor will be there any minute. I'll go get my rig. I'll ride with you. Take him to his room. Who did it? Ed mumbled something about the Phantom. Nothing more we can do here. Let's get on back. Sure, the Phantom did it. Isn't he responsible for all the trouble around here? Well, it doesn't look like the kind of thing the Phantom does. So what do you know about the Phantom? What does anybody know about him? Well, you talk as if he might be your friend. I have no reason to believe he'd be otherwise. Well, it's high time something was done about all this. And I'm doing it. I've sent to the Association for a Detective. A man who's worked for me before. I'm going to have law and order in this valley if it breaks me. Oh, yeah, something's got to be done. Burroughs seems all het up over this thing. What do you make of it? Looks to me as though Burroughs doesn't care who's guilty, as long as it's the man he picks. Well, whoever it was, I reckon Ed will have something mighty interesting to tell when he recovers. You mean if he recovers? Well, let's get back to the ranch, boys. It's late. Magpie. Saw birds and the gang leave. Burroughs says he's headed for the ranch. But I doubt it. You don't think? Yes, I do. They're probably headed for Red's place. It's our next move. You know what that means. I'm going to change these clothes. Now you get the boys, head for Red's house and see that nothing happens to him.
You say the body was laying right here, huh? Yes, Mr. Durkin. Are you sure the money wasn't on or about him? Yes, Mr. Durkin. Well, I'll get the fellows that done this or I'll lock up everybody in town. Yes, Mr. Durkin. That Durkin's sure gonna make a lot of friends here. When are we gonna finish our job? Any minute now. You ride out to the Ardens and keep an eye on things there. <laughs> that phantom might attack him again. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna try to keep about one jump ahead of that bloodhound. Always keep some money here for emergency. Sit down. That'll do for running expenses. Now listen. We've got to pin this Arden shooting on someone quick. Folks are getting tired of lawlessness. If we don't move fast, they might uncover the right man. What have you got in mind? Well, there's a couple of possibilities. Reno and this new fella. Carson. Reno would be a lot easier to handle. People all know that he's a tough one. Say, how much money you got around here? Enough. Why? As much as Ed Arden was robbed of? <laughs> Say, you're not so dumb after all. <laughs> Quiet over at Arden's? Yeah. Mark Burris showed up, but he didn't get no place. What was the old man's bloodhound doing in here just now? 
looking for Reno. Did he find him? No. He looked in the office and all around. Reno doored his door, but I didn't tell him that. There's Reno now. Let's get one of the boys first. Looking for something, Carson? Yes, and I think I found it. What is it? This. I'll bet if you counted that, it would be just about the same amount that was in that roll the Arden boy lost. Well, what's it doing in there? That's something you might have to explain. You mean you think that I... I what I think. <laughs> I just happen to know that... Reno, you're under arrest. For what? For the shooting and robbing of Ed Arden. Why, you big well, ornery? You wouldn't uh, have any trouble proving that charge, would you? Why, of course not. Yeah. Well, he knew it was there. He knew what was where? By the money. How did you know it was there? Well, I... Shut up, Durkin. Now, you better keep out of this, unless you want to get yourself involved in the crooked frame-up. Well, I don't, but we're all anxious to clean up this business. Nobody more than I am. And it's for you. There's no place around here for your kind. I'm giving you till noon tomorrow to get out of town. Hold on. Durkin is an association man. If the association knew what he just tried to do, they'd be the first to throw him out. Any interference with him is contrary to the law. You heard what I told him. Noon tomorrow. Is that the Arden roll? <laughs> no, but it's the same amount. Burrows, eh? Didn't Burroughs have a partner at one time? Yes. A fellow by the name of uh, Jim Parker. Parker was killed by rustlers and left his share of the ranch to Burroughs. Oh. Oh, there you are. Hey, you. I'll give you old crooked game a run. Oh, never mind. Go on out of here. Take it easy, Reno. Sorry, I won't be able to play with you tonight. Can't give you a game, but you go on outside. You'll find somebody out there to give you a game. All right, partner. If you ever get one to play, I'll be waiting for you. I can't figure that old guy out sometimes. I think he knows a whole lot more than he lets on. Well, most of us do, Reno. What's bothering me is what happened to that money that you said was in the box. They saw us coming and took it out. Well, why didn't we search him and find it? Well, that would hardly be legal under the circumstances. One thing sure, I'm tired of waiting for the money, and I'm going to have the Arden Ranch just as soon as he can be moved. Hey! The Phantom, he threw a gun on me. 
Gave me that. He told me to give it to you. Well, that's my... That's the money Arden lost. He said that you'd take it as final payment on the Arden Ranch. Well, I'll do nothing of a sort. Arden's got to pay me himself. You just said that was Arden's money. We all know he intended it for you. The best thing you can do is accept it and give the Ardens a clear title to their land. Well, this proves the Phantom shot and robbed Arden. It doesn't prove anything. He didn't have to shoot Arden in order to make him pay you. Ed was going to do that anyway. Well, where'd the Phantom get this money? Ah. Who knows? Come on, boys. Don't forget, noon tomorrow. I think I better be going. Say, you ain't getting scared and running off, are you? Oh, no, no. I, I just don't feel good, that's all. <laughs> there he goes, the yellow coyote. about. Carson just called that detective's bluff and ran him out of town. You mean that detective who was going to get the man who shot Ed? Yes, but... Uh... I was right. Mr. Burroughs, I know who the phantom is. You've got to have him arrested. You know? Yes, I've seen him and talked to him. Who is he? That man. He's the Phantom. That's why he ran your detective out of town. Aren't you making a mistake? No, she's not. It all fits. I begin to understand a lot of things now. Al! We're arresting that man. Why, what for? He's the Phantom. Phantom? Why, I thought... Never mind what you thought. Do as I say. It'll be right interesting to see how much riding the Phantom does with you in jail. He'll probably ride more than ever, Burroughs. The Phantom. He just raided your place and carried off your brother. What? Oh, we've got to find him. I'll get the horses. You and the boys better come and help. Do you still think I'm the Phantom? Who did it? Mark Burroughs and two of his men. Too bad you didn't trail him. I did. Come on inside.
Now, who is missing today? Mort Burroughs. You talk like a one end storybook detective. Who was missing the night Ed was shot? Same thought. We've all been blind or very dumb. Yeah, but Mort had passed out. Apparently, yes. Will you back my play? All the way. Where's that girl, Rita? Outside. Come on, I want to talk to her. Why didn't you tell someone that young Burroughs went out of here and then came right back in the night young Arden was shot? That's not so. It is so. Don't lie, Rita. I'm not lying. Yes, you are. Now, you don't want to get into trouble, do you, Rita? No. Well, then you better tell us the truth. You knew that young Burroughs had stepped out of here and then came back in again the night Arden was shot. Why didn't you tell someone? Well, he... He, he paid me not to say anything, and... I was afraid of him. I, I don't see any harm That's in it. That's all, Rita. That's all. How did you know that? I didn't, but I do now. Then Mort shot Ed? Well, he had the opportunity. Yeah, but why? He don't need the money. Can you think of any reason why Burroughs might regret having sold that ranch to the Ardens? Well, I've heard rumors that Arden found gold on it. Wouldn't that be a reason? Yeah. I know that cabin where Mort's taken Ed. I've been there. Mort won't do anything, though, until his father gets there. And the old man's got to get away from Molly first. I'll tell you what you do. You get some of the boys you can trust and head up Rock Canyon Trail. You and I are going straight to the cabin. You'll never get in there alive. No? Well, the Phantom might. Mort's probably in the cabin there with Ed. Now, we'll separate and surprise them, Magpie. I hear somebody coming. There he is. It's that old prospector. Young Burns inside? Suppose he is. The dad's looking for him. Hold it! You take care of these fellows.
So the phantoms meet, eh? Get up on your feet. No false moves out of you fellas. I'll be watching you. Coming. How are you going to get out of this, Carson? Don't you worry about that. Is Mort inside? Yeah. So's a phantom. Cover me, men. Lord. Drop that gun! of this. You remember Jim Parker, the man you killed? You're lying. You can't prove a thing. Jim and I were in the Rangers together. You thought no one saw you kill him, but you were wrong. One man did, and he's here now to bear witness against you. All right. I did kill him. And what good will that knowledge do you now? My men are outside, and they're... Dead. And they're being kept pretty busy. It's wise of you to confess, Burroughs. I didn't confess. I wanted you to know because... because of what happened to Mort. But you can't use it. It's your word against mine. What about mine? Good work, Arden. I thought you were playing possum. I know it was Mort that shot me, though he was dressed like the Phantom. What happened to your money? I threw it under the building where I fell just before I passed out. Well, what about it now, Burroughs? You're still not out of here. You go around the back while I keep them busy. Never get out alive, Carson. If I don't, neither will you. Keep your eye on him. Get over here. Open it up while we break it down. Looks like the law's caught up with you, Burroughs.
Ed, are you all right? Yes, I'm all right, sis. Thanks to him. I'm sorry I was wrong about you. But you weren't. You knew I was the Phantom all the time. Reels got the rest of them. Well, nice work, Magpie. Thanks. <laughs>